Okay, we're joining this on uh, turn six. Unfortunately, I missed turn five. Just a few points about turn five. Turn five is always about getting the best out of your troops. Now, you probably didn't see this before, but on turn four, uh, Istanbul was taken uh, from here, which really, as I said in the last segment, um, reduces the impact and the, the options uh, for Laokara here to, to get his troops forward up here. Now, it's, it's looking like Ukraine is, is winning it in the um, western, uh, sorry, in the eastern battle over here. Uh, he is positioning himself so that he can get troops out. It does look like we've got a bit of guerrilla warfare going on um, from uh, Ukraine. Um, but he has got still got this sort of cash income coming from Italy, so he's not as reliant on his colleague uh, in the, um, the west of Europe there. Now, in conversely to what's going on in the east, I think that Aquius is in a better position uh, than Germany at the moment. Germany will probably sit back now and try and protect, protect his capital as he realises that there's really no option of getting through to London. Aquius can very easily defend his cities if he thinks that's going to uh, to go uh, across that way. Um, and then also he's got the problem in Germany of Laukra knowing that there's probably not going to be a rush coming down anytime soon, through this way at least, uh, to go across and try and assist Aquius in, in defeating Germany and making a 2v1 situation. Um, it's still quite finely balanced I think in terms of troop counts especially in the west you've got 185 for Laokra, 170 for Ukraine though saying that he does look, seem to have a better position in terms of being able to come down here um, and and focus if he needs to be um, Laokra may rush I'm not sure Aquius has got 92 units and you should see that he is very much dominating the German player at the moment with his 78 troops um, in that position so Looking at the situation, I think that Lilleria will still have this uh, just in the capacity of how well defended the West and those key money regions are. It may just become too much, uh, especially with this ghosting 14 up here to present any sort of threat to the UK, uh, which by turn 9, which is the next reinforcements, may be a problem for the German player. If Illyria can get rid of this German player by turn 9, then the game's good enough as over unless of course he is playing guerrilla warfare as I suspect and can get rid of this uh, you know Laoka quite quickly that said it's very difficult once you're in this position uh, to get rid of him especially where he is now walled in Ankara so this turn he can come out retake Istanbul and then present the threat to uh, to Kiev so we'll pick this up on um, a next a next turn okay turn seven so we're now into the mid what I would call the mid uh, sort of game so the early game is obviously from one turn one to turn five uh, the most dramatic thing you can see in turn one to one to five is a, a rush of someone very quickly it rarely happens these days as people know uh, how to defend it whereas before when I first started on uh, at war in 2012 there was a lot of rushing going on we'll have a look at the uh, the east battle here as as suspected Lauk has gone and got his um, his way into uh, Ukraine back in the form of Istanbul. It's also a little bit of a cash cow in terms of this area of the map anyway. Um, there are only two real places uh, which get money in, in Athens and uh, Istanbul. Um, so he's going to take in that. He's presenting. He won't rush. Uh, there's probably too many units there even at a chance. He'll probably move these units up to this area if need be. Make sure that Odessa is taking Sevastopol and really limit the options coming down unless you're going through the Balkans. Um, again, he's still pressuring and holding Munich, taking away the full country bonus beneath this imprinted um, unit there for Austria, um, and will help, ideally, coming up here and, and, and pushing away. Aquius is doing well. He's still got a walled London, still got a full UK. Um, he's working on getting the full France and the full Spain, which will really give him a good a good in the, in the long term. As you can see, still no way for Hamburg to come out and take Paris, which would be the ideal option. Um, and this wall is really causing some chaos and should be defeated uh, as soon as possible for the, for the Berlin player. Me, I always put a unit around where this uh, piece is here. Uh, you know, turn two, turn three, uh, and try and keep the, this uh, sort of region and this route open because it really is important to make sure that that psychological battle is there for your opponent and give them the option of defending. If somebody's in a position like this, Aquius knows he doesn't need to defend over here. He can just keep coming over and taking one place at a time, moving on, and even thinking about taking the Scandinavias, ignoring Berlin and just going into the northern region and helping out his buddy over here in Turkey. Um, 
It's got a bit more balance. Let's have a look at the unit counts for you. Uh, 193 to Laokra, 171 to Hurak, uh, 101 to Aquius, and 79 to Ghostface. So Ghostface has taken some units out um, from Aquius, but obviously turn 8 is going to be a new turn here. There's some chat here about uh, rewalling. For these, those of you that don't know what rewalling is, this is when you have a wall like this, um, you can either do two or three things. You can take it away, um, put the units in there, and then reform the wall around. People don't like this. Uh, because they say it's cheating. However, uh, if you are smart, then when you break a wall, also place a unit by the uh, the wall just there, and, and the wall won't be able to reform. Alternatively, if there is something called a Serbian wall, where this wall here, for example, if you destroy all of the units and place a triangle wall or whatever wall you want around it, uh, people will be able to be walled instantly from that. Uh, it's a very low tactic. I don't like people that do it. But again, that can be combated by just placing a, a unit. For example, this unit, if you were to place it there, when they tried that tactic, it wouldn't work. So let's uh, skip to turn 8 and have a look and see where we are there. Okay, so turn 8, uh, we're having a look. Uh, Aquis has still got his wall up here, which is, is causing now significant problems for uh, the the German player. Now the colours are a bit indecisive uh, or indistinguishable rather over here but I think he's gone for a big palace wall to, to try and give him the opportunity of moving out. Now he's gone to protect, to protect some areas. He is incredibly weak now. I fully expect given that this is turn 8 um, that uh, Aquius will take Germany on this turn um, just to, to, to rule it before reinforcements on turn 9. Um, when we're looking over here Ukraine is now getting a bit defensive, seeing that Izale is going to come. I think Illyria still have this. There are options to come in here, but there are enough troops around to be able to defend it um, and see what's going on. So, um, as Sid said, Sid's a very good player. Came, uh, I think, it was playing in the multi-tournament, did a few videos himself. Um, his, his ghost face being passive. Often in this scenario, this is the turn where I would look to come out and do as much damage as I can. If you know that you are going to lose your capital, no matter what you do, there is no point in defending the capital. You may as well come out and do the uh, the damage elsewhere and stop that reinforcement for a few turns for your ally to, to regain some positions. Now, once this is taken, it will give an option for Ukraine to go and defend uh, his ally and try and recap, which in this instance might not be too good, or from this instance. I'm looking at this, I think that the West is pretty much won by Aquarius over here. Very patient player, protecting his position, um, protecting his key pieces over here, um, whilst his, his enemy kind of ruins troops elsewhere uh, and that may be the end of the battle over there. Once this line is taken uh, from here and across here, the money is normally too much even if the West is, is, is capped at this stage um, having taken too many units for it. If this was turn 13 that might be a different option it uh, might be a different kind of scenario, but uh, if it's taken that early, generally that's game over for this player, unless he's incredibly competent. Okay, start turn 9. This is obviously another reinforcement turn. As you can see, same principle as on turn 4. It was about really um, taking, uh, rushing or protecting your position or taking as much spawn as you can in preparation uh, for the next turn. So, Leokra has done a very good job in coming up here and taking away any sort of resemblance of hope for... Um, the German player up here, whilst also taking away Odessa uh, over here, which is a massive route into um, into Turkey for the Ukraine player. He's also managed to take a bit of a threat there, so he'll probably break that and, and threaten some of those routes up here. I think they're going to call game quite soon because Aquius has got still got full UK over here. Uh, he's working on his full France still. He's got a lot of troops that he can leverage and bring over for an eventual rush. Um, on to Berlin. He may even be at the point already, as you can see, he's working on these outer cities in Gothenburg to really reduce any sort of spawn hopes that we have. There's a wall around there that's actually Aquius's rule around Oslo. So he'll probably come and take that and really reduce the options for, for Ukraine to come there. Um, so, as I said, so 15 Marines at my cap didn't work turn 4, so why would it work on turn 8? So there's a bit of a shit talking there from Laokra. Nothing unusual from Laokra. Uh, to, to go forward thinking it's going to come down. So 
you can see he's gone to a bit of a cap stacking. I think they've lost it now. He really needed to come out the last turn and be aggressive and take as many troops as he can. Uh, especially if you look at the unit count, I think the Elk is still going to be on top. 174 to 129. And that's only going to increase now that he's got the spawn. And he's probably getting funded massively from Aquius now. Who's had that full UK pretty much the whole game. And, uh, you know, let alone the 400 that is in London each turn, you probably get a 200, 300 more um, in the UK itself, plus all the little cities. He's not lost a city, really. Um, he's got all of the Benelu. The money aspect at this point of the game is probably through the roof. Um, really, then we'll be able to leverage the position that he's in with regards to his troop count. So we'll see it. I'm just going to pause the video for a moment, uh, allow it to go through to turn 10. And then we'll see if there's a sort of any rush on Berlin or any sort of taking of territory over this way. It may be even the case that Leo forgets an AT and comes up and takes some of these smaller ports really to put the threat in on the Ukraine. So turn 10 in this clan war between uh, Epic and uh, Illyria. That was really a surprising move as you can see the UK has now been capped by uh, the, the German player. It took a massive risk in coming out and taking that. But he's probably done the right move because Aquius now really has to go back and and take that. I think he'll easily recap. That's all that's there. He's got all of the troops in in uh, in London. Uh, sorry, in France and um, Spain to use. He's also got the 52 unit there. May get to use turn blocked, um, but that's trying to give really um, an opportunity for his teammate over here in the Ukraine to come out and do something. Unfortunately for him, I think Leoka just has too many troops to be able to do something um, of significant unless he's going to rush and take it. Now, if he holds, uh, this is going to be a strong position. Um, and I'm very much a rush between the two of these players to come up and get these uh, sort of cash areas or indeed rush each other. Um, let's take a look when we come to the turn, we'll see what's going on and, and we'll take it from there. So very quickly on turn 11, obviously Aquius got turn blocked here so he's now lost uh, over in the west which is a bit of a turn up because he was in such a dominating position. He has probably taken his... Uh, He's his friend out with him, and I fully expect him just to pump the uh, the 45 back into there, as he probably is not going to be able to come back and defend over here. Um, you do, The UK player who's holding knows that he can move out and probably attack uh, some of these spawn areas here. Lelka has also been capped here. I don't know without a general whether he's going to be capped, so I thought that Illyria were in a very strong position, but obviously epic clan have gone for that last ditch sort of attempt which may work in this instance it's a, a very strong tactic a very good tactic and um, when you are in a losing position it's always worth taking that risk to come out and um, this game now hinges really on whether uh Laokra can recap here because the the german player is pretty much dead and um, the west both players are very much dead so it's just a matter if he can recap and then a matter of sort of you know, grabbing the money and, and seeing if spawns over here. You still have an advantage, I think, for Laokra if we look at the, the numbers up here of 177 and Hurak with 104. So there are 70 troops. However, that general will be key in, in play. Um, if Laokra cannot recap, uh, then this game is good enough as over.